guys, I'm back with another video. And in this video, I decided to do um, the products that I regret buying. Um, I need to stop saying um. Hey, Lex. So, I'm gonna try to stop saying um so much. Say hi. Say hi. So I will just go right into the first product. So the first product is a new product from the drugstore, and this is the Maybelline Master Prime. Um, I got the Blur and Illuminate, and this is comes out pink, so it looks like that. And one of the things, though, that I do like about it is that it smells really nice. It smells like roses, which is really nice. I like the smell of roses. Um, nothing wrong with that. But for one, it does not blur anything. It doesn't really illuminate anything. There's no illumination happening. And when I put it on, my makeup literally fell off, like, at the end of the day. My makeup was completely gone, like, completely off my face. So I was like, okay, yeah, definitely this sucks. So... Yeah, it says it's supposed to blur the imperfection and smooth the surface of the skin, um, prime skin for illuminated start, and does not clog pores. So yeah, wear alone or under makeup to refine wear. Yeah, so the, I didn't like this at all. I will not be repurchasing this, and I probably will not be ever using this again. Maybe I'll wear this. Um, maybe I'll try to wear this on its own sometime, but I don't know. This sucks. Uh, the next product is from the drugstore as well, and this is an e.l.f. product, and I bought this when I bought their whole skincare line, and this is their e.l.f. Acne Fighting Gel Treatment. Yeah, this doesn't, didn't do anything for me. Um, I would put it on, like, I usually I was getting zits over on this side. I'd put it on there and literally saw no results with this. Um, helps prevent, oh, for the treatment of acne and helps prevent new acne blemishes. Um, cover the entire affected area with a thin layer one to three times daily. Okay, well, I was only applying it once because I don't have time to apply this three times daily. Um, but this didn't do anything. It didn't even, like, sting. Like, if I'm going to fight some acne, I want it to sting, right? Like, I want it to get in there, I want it to sting, and I want it to do something. And it didn't do anything. I felt like I was putting just water on my face. So, that is that. That is this stuff. Mm, no me gusta. No me gusta. Okay, next product is relatively new as well. And I saw this. I like to go on um, Pop Sugar. I don't know if you've been on this website. It's called popsugar.com. And if you go on their beauty section, and this is really random. But if you go on their beauty section, they have like random articles and I like their articles that just show beauty products that are coming out in the months or like new beauty products. Bottom line, I've been seeing this all over online and this is the um, Physicians Formula Argan Wear Argan Oil Blush and so this is their new blush that just came out um, and it is supposed to be infused with um, argan oil so it looks like this and it's supposed to be nice and smooth and you know I don't know because it has oil in it it smells nice it does smell nice but it broke me out when I put it on my face because it must be because it has oil in it and it's sparkly too like it has some sparkle to it which is fine like it's not it's not crazy sparkly but like it's not even that pigmented and it I mean Oh, well, there you go. That's what it is. And I don't know. It's just not happening for me. So that is that. I don't know. Not happening for me. I wish I didn't buy it. I never put it on. And especially since it broke me out. I'm not happy with it. And it must be because it has the oil in it. And I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Like, because it had the oil in it. I don't know why I didn't think that that would be a problem. Hello? You're putting oil on your face. Duh. Duh. That is that. So, I wish I didn't buy this. Moving on to a higher end product. Um, this, a lot of people really like. And I do not know why. Like, I honestly do not know why people like this product. Um, this is the Anastasia Brow Powder. Um, okay, so if you look at mine, I have scratched it so much because I cannot get product out of this. Like, I cannot get product. For some reason, 
like mine like I get no product of it out of it and when I put it on my brows like it nothing is happening like nothing is happening so I never use this I wish I never bought it and I'm sorry I just don't like it I just really don't like it I'm sorry I don't like it I love her pencils I love her pomade I love her gel I love her what else is that all she makes I thought that if I scraped it, like, it was the, like, just, like, the top part, but no. I still can't get product out of it. I don't know why. It's really disappointing. Moving on. Um, this product I had really high hopes for, um, and this is the Sonia Kasuk, um, cream bronzer. And I had literally such high hopes for this for some reason. I thought that it was going to be a dupe for that Chanel um, bronzer that is going around that I cannot afford. Um, but it's not. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Sonia Kasuk from Target is a definite dupe for that. No, it's not. Um, this is so greasy and, like, I just never use it to cream bronze. It is so orange, by the way. I'm going to put this on me. It's so orange. And it slips and slides. And I got the warm tan. So maybe that's my problem. Maybe I should have got the dark one. Um, but I never use this. Um, I wish I never got it. I feel like I'm being really negative in this video. But I'm just trying to inform. You know? Just trying to be, trying to be informed. Informed. Okay. Next product okay. is this product right here. This is from Ken Kenra, and this is the Dry Thickening Spray. I was so excited by this, and I thought that when I got it, it would make my hair so thick and so wonderful and loving life, and here we go. We're going to have thick hair, and it's not going to be gross and nasty when we use this because I saw... Nicole, look at this. This just comes right off. You can just rub, sorry, you can just rub this tanner off with your hand and like, but this does not, I don't know if I'm using it wrong, but it does not do anything for me. Did I get the wrong one? I got four, number four. Because, because, okay, I do not need this for hairspray. I do not need this to hold anything. I do not need this to hold my my curls. I do not need that. I need this to thicken my hair and make it, you know, voluminous. But this doesn't do that. It doesn't. It just adds stuff into my hair and just nah, doesn't do anything. And it doesn't smell very good. Wait, I can't smell it. Oh, no, yeah, I don't like the smell of it. <laughs> I haven't used it for a while, so. But, and it was expensive, too. Ugh. I'm sorry. The next product, um, I bought this a super long time ago, but I do want to mention it because I am really upset that I bought this and I gave in to the hype. I mean, this is the Million Dollar Tan um, Dark Sunless Tanning solution um and this is the spray one i know since then they have come out with so many, oh my god so many different things but i was so upset with this product so this product came with that stick with the sponge and you apply it that way first of all applying it with the sponge and the stick is so difficult to apply it is so streaky and this this one though I do have to say that if it goes on streaky it does come out pretty even but when you take a shower and the guard comes off the tan basically comes off too so yeah and I saw this all over YouTube at the time and I and I was so like oh my god this is like the best tanner ever I saw tutorials I saw all the, all these different things and I was like oh my god this is the best tanner ever this sucks. Don't buy this. I don't think it's really that hyped up anymore on YouTube anymore, but I just wanted to mention this because I literally was so upset that I bought this. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> million dollar tan. Ah. Although, I have to say something really quick. I do have to say, <laughs> you're gonna be like, Amy, why did you, after your horrible experience with million dollar tan, why would you give in the hype of buying this product? Well, 
Oh, it's leaking. Well, yes, I know. That is a excellent question, guys, because I'm a sucker. I'm a big sucker, that's why. But this product is hyped up like a mother right now. Literally hyped up like crazy on YouTube. You cannot go and watch a, a YouTube video without someone talking about Loving Tan. Marsh favorites, Loving Tan. Oh, and my tanner, Loving Tan. Oh, and Loving Tan, coupon code below. Okay, wow, I sound like a bitch. Okay, <clears throat> but I bought this, you guys, and the hype is real, okay? The hype is real. This stuff is is so good, okay? Like, literally so good. So let me just say that really quickly in this video. I love this stuff. And I got the deluxe one, bronzing mousse. It is so good. This is probably the best tanner I have ever used. It is so good. Um, you can find so many coupon codes now out there so you get a free mitt, free shipping, whatevs. The next I thing and final thing that I probably, is probably gonna get that people probably love on here because I see it all the freaking time. I am really negative today. I'm sorry. You're getting my like negative personality right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but I see it all the time and I, I subscribed and first of all, two, okay, first it's the Ipsy bag, okay? It's the Ipsy, okay. Throw that out there. It's the Ipsy bag. Okay. One thing I do not like about the Ipsy bag is to subscribe, you have to do like four steps to get off the wait list, okay? You have to share it with all your Facebook friends, you have to share it on your Facebook feed, and I'm sorry, like, I'm not about, I don't want to. Is that weird? $10 a month, which is great. I did not, $10 a month is very, very affordable. So the one thing I do not like, no, there's many things I don't like about it. So one thing I do not like about it is that when they advertise for it, they show you products that you do not get. Am I right or am I wrong? Because um, not this, no, I think it was this one. This was March, I think. And it showed a China Glaze um, nail polish. And I was like, oh, oh my god, a China Glaze nail polish is coming? That's awesome. I'm so excited. No. China Glaze nail polish did not come. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and then, and then I know I unsubscribed. So I know this month they like showed a um, Too Faced melted lipstick. And I was like, oh wow, I probably should have stayed subscribed. And then I was like, wait a second. No, this is probably false advertisement. And I read the comments and someone, someone was like, this is such bullshit we don't get this product, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yes, girl, yes, you're right, you don't. So, <laughs> okay. Anyways, so yeah. So, and also, another thing is, why I subscribed is just personally, I don't end up grabbing these products. So, for instance, this was the March one. This has been sitting right here, like on this like random chair I have. It literally has been sitting here has not been touched since I got it. Like, I was not excited for the products. I was not... What am I doing? I was not excited for the products. I was not excited for anything that I received. I just do not think it, it is worth it. I know it's only $10 a month, but if you think about it, that kind of adds up. And to me, it wasn't worth it. I mean, and even Zach was like, do you even use these? You use the products that you get in these stupid things. And I was like, yes, I do, Zach. And then I like thought about it and I was like, no, I actually, I don't. So anyways, that is that. I mean, I know people love it and yada, yada, yada. I mean, I didn't even open this. I don't even know. I mean, I, I'm sure it's good quality. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. I don't know. That's just me. <sighs> That's just me. That's just my opinion. So, yeah. I'm sorry if you like it. I just haven't been really happy with that. So, I thought I'd mention it. I'm sorry if this video was really negative. I, I don't know. It was negative, wasn't it? This video was negative. I'm sorry. But I really enjoy these videos. Like, um, when... Oh my god, stop playing with your hair. I really enjoy these videos, watching them, so that's why I decided to make my own, because I like them. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, I know I love watching these videos, and I already said that. 
I already said that. Okay, so I'm going to Ulta now. I have a coupon that expires today. So 20% off, 20% off my whole purchase. So please subscribe if you haven't already and comment and like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.